Well, welcome back to the show. Having a great conversation already. We just both got described as very dramatic people, <laughs> which can be a good thing, but we're going to talk about something completely different here today. We're talking about stress and procrastination, and we are joined by Patricia Walsh. She's an expert in human operating methodologies. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. <laughs> you <laughs> describe it, uh, Patricia, as th there's an underlying cause for all stress and procrastination. What What is that underlying cause? It's your values. It's your own personal sense of what is right and wrong. So when you're conflicted, about what is the right thing to do at any given time, it's because you're not sure what the right thing is, and that's because a lot of things are important in your life. Right. We started out talking about kids and homework. Right. So, you know, you, you want your kids to do their homework because you really don't want them to end up living in a cardboard box. Right. right. You know, that's important to you. But you also don't want to torture your kids. You want a happy kid. So how do you, how do you reconcile that? How do you reconcile it's important for them to do their homework mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, I don't want to torture them and make them miserable. And right. often you feel like you're nag, nag, right, nag. Right. That's what it feels like, right? It's true. But also you're conflicted, but then the kid is also conflicted exactly. as well. Your child may be conflicted between what kind of values? Well, actually, it's what they consider fun because at, the, at that age they're going to have fun. And it's what their friends consider important. And also, it's the messages that you're giving them that you don't realize. So probably when you were a kid, you didn't like homework either. No. <laughs> I, honestly, it chances, <laughs> chances are good. So when you, when you get into, you know, it's time to do your homework or we have to pay attention to your homework, you feel guilty. You feel bad for pushing them yeah, to do homework. I do. Because you don't like it. You feel like you're torturing your kid, right? Yeah, to a certain sense, <laughs> extent, right? for sure. And so... A key piece of this is for you to flip over your attitude to how can I make this not painful for them? I mean, maybe right. it was painful for you, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't so how do you do that? Be. How do you motivate them in the right <laughs> way the without sort of bribing them? Let's, right. let's well, and, and you know, bribery is not a terrible thing. Okay. The, the thing is, it's about building their self-worth. It's about understanding that if you tie this to contributing to the family, then they will feel important. Okay. So explain that part of it a bit more, the contributing to the family part. How are the, how are the children contributing by doing their homework? Well, you think about it, everybody has a role. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you go off and do your job in the daytime. That's a contribution to the family. That's why you do it. They go off and go to school in the daytime. That's a contribution to the family. And it, it actually means that you have to give it worth. Right. You have to value it. It is important for you to go to school, just like it's important for me to go to work. And this is how we all take care of our family. This is how we all make our family better, stronger. So is it important then, are, are you describing it to them as being important for their future? Is that the idea? No. Or for right, for now, right now, for right the now, present? Today, for this family. So, you know, you can say, empty the dishwasher. Empty the dishwasher, nag, 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 do your chores, do your chores, do your chores. Or you can say, you know what, I need your help. We all pitch in. We do it together. You empty the dishwasher, I'll make supper, you know, somebody else is doing something else. And if everybody has a contribution, then they all feel important. They all feel like what they're doing matters. Right. So, you know, one of the biggest challenges you have, because if you think about homework, do you really think it matters? In, in the long run? From, well, I guess no, it because does. it teaches you. I think you, it does. I think it does because it teaches you how to learn independently, yes, right? It unless does. unless you, you're a parent that sits there and goes through it with them. Well, and reinforces the things that you learned in school, and so that, that gets ingrained in your mind, and so you're practicing and, and basically relearning or re reinforcing what, what it is that you've been taught. So I think that has a value. Perfect. That's very important. Is it more important than your kid being happy? No. <laughs> No? Darn, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that it is. I I mean, that I might be my upbringing, but I think it that's is. Okay. I think that's, that's part okay. of life. You just got to do it. You just got to do it. And so here's the thing, is when you have that conflict, you're going to be torn. Right. When you're clear, they'll feel that clarity. They'll feel that clarity from you and say, okay, this is important. This matters. This is important because they get a vibe from you. You know, they they could you know they tell by your body language, they tell by your tone of voice. If you're reluctant, come on, come on, you know you gotta do this, right? You know, if you have that reluctance, yeah. they know, 
<laughs> it's not like they don't know. And they'll play on it because kids are smart. But so it doesn't have do to be that? one or the other, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, you're miserable doing homework and you're happy not doing it. You can still do your homework and be a happy child. Exactly, right? exactly. And if you make a contribution and you value their contribution to the family, right. it's not, oh, you have to do this. Come on, let's just get it over with and please don't make me miserable by making me negative. Right. They're going to feel miserable. If you say, this is important and I care, you know, it matters to me that you do this. It matters to our whole family that you fulfill your role as a student. Mm -hmm. Part of your job in this family is to do this right, is to do right. a good job. And then everybody's happier. You, you take care of me when you do your homework. So is there an installation of right and wrong? Are you instilling yes. right and wrong by basically teaching your children? Exactly. Okay, but what if they don't do their homework then? What, what, is it a punishment? What, what's Ooh, the yeah. consequence? Parents have such, something much stronger than punishment up their sleeve, and that's approval. Oh, you mean disappointment? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so much more that important. Is powerful. It That's is. Right. It is so much more important. And you have to be very careful because you always have to give them, if, if they do disappoint you, you have to give them a way to make retribution and you have to make your requirements really, really clear so they know right. how to succeed. Mm -hmm. They have to know how to succeed. If it's always like, do better. They can't succeed at that. Yeah. So you're going to end up with rebel child. God help you when they're 13, yeah. you know? If you, totally. if you have clear requirements, like, you know, what does this look like? Does it look like I, I want you to get bees? You know, do they even have bees anymore? You know, does, <laughs> does it look like I want you to spend 15 minutes a day? Right. You know, what does it look like? If you can do something where if you say, okay, we're all going to sit at the family table. You know, we're going to sit at the kitchen table. You do your homework. I'm going to do this over here. And everybody kind of has stuff going on so it's like this is the time we all get together and we do the thing that right. we're all doing to contribute mm -hmm. and you could be folding laundry or peeling vegetables it doesn't matter it's about this is how we all contribute mm -hmm. I love that advice there are kids and, and I mean especially if you have ADHD kids if you have kids are more hyper they need music going they need that you know that's why headphones were invented Right. You know, that's exactly. <laughs> I, I always figure, I tell my kids. Speaking of music, sorry, we're running out of time, <laughs> that's Patricia, okay. but you've been kind enough uh, to bring along a giveaway for us here today. Uh, describe what the, the, the CD is all about. This is Love Letters by Judy, uh, for uh, one of my contemporaries in, in my business. And what this is for is for people who feel like, you know, maybe they didn't have the best parents in the world, and so they're not confident if they're making the right choices. This will help with that. Okay. This, is, this is about helping you give yourself a feeling of confidence as a parent. Perfect. So give us a call right now, 613-759-8622 for your chance to win. Patricia, always a pleasure having you, you on so the show. Much. Fantastic advice for parents at home. So sit down with your kids and have that conversation with them. Don't go away. We're back with...